Hi, David Gerard here. I'm in Frederick, Oklahoma, down in the southwest corner of the state, just a few miles north of the Red River. Frederick, population 3,500, is a small agricultural town that keeps alive the memory of probably the two youngest adventurers ever. Welcome to Pioneer Town Site, museum in Frederick, Oklahoma. And uh, back in the 1900s, there was a man named Jack Abernathy, and he was the uh, marshal around these parts. Jack was no ordinary marshal or man. He was a renowned wolf hunter who caught prairie wolves with his bare hands. When President Teddy Roosevelt, an avid outdoorsman, heard about Catch Em Alive Jack, Roosevelt rode in his private train car with a large retinue to meet Jack and go on a wolf hunt. That was in 1904. It all started back then. Jack's wife died and left him with four daughters and two sons, and the daughters all moved away to different homes. And the two sons stayed here, Bud and uh, Temple. Well, when Jack Abernathy and uh, Teddy were at his home talking, the boys heard Teddy asking Jack to come to New York City. Roosevelt would be leaving the presidency in 1909 and taking an extended tour in Africa and Europe, returning in June of 1910. There would be a celebration and parade in New York. Jack's sons, Bud and Temple, hearing about the event, asked their father if they couldn't go, and their plan was to ride horses all the way from Frederick, Oklahoma, to New York City. He said, okay, if y'all will go to Santa Fe, New Mexico, from Frederick, Oklahoma, and back again and have no problems on their horses, I'll consider it. Oh, that was sort of their training Wrong. Yeah, yeah, he wanted to see how that went, you know. And, and so the boys did that and came back and they kept bugging their dad. Finally he said, okay. So they took off in uh, April that year and they went on horseback from uh, Frederick, Oklahoma to New York City and it took them till the first part of June to get there. And they had went and all the towns knew that they were coming and they treated them like a king. And we have a picture here. And this is the Hotel Astor in New York City, April the 5th, 1910. And here are the two boys sitting at the head of the table and their dad. Oh, wow. And this is one of the Wright brothers and uh, Teddy Roosevelt in uh, FDR Roosevelt. But this just kind of shows you how they were treated everywhere they went. Wow. They'd get, you know, food and room and board and everything. <laughs> the story doesn't end there. The two boys talked their father into buying them an automobile, a brush runabout, while in New York. The two boys, ages 10 and 6, drove the vehicle back home to Oklahoma, stopping in Detroit at the Brush Factory to get a tune-up. In 1911, Bud and Temple took up a challenge to complete a transcontinental horseback ride across the United States in 60 days or less for a prize of $10,000. They completed the ride in 62 days, losing out on the prize money. In 1913, the two boys took their last documented adventure together. They purchased an Indian motorcycle and traveled from Oklahoma to New York City. The depot was moved two blocks south of here and they had to move it in three different sections and that's where Teddy Roosevelt brought his oh. own personal train to Frederick, Oklahoma. That was a big deal back then. Mm -hmm. Oh, I bet. Back then.